first of all, great intro. Funny as always. Very dramatic. Great acting. Look at the expression on this man's face. Going through some tough times. Oh, maybe he's upset because he had a shave for November, which is the charity. Link below. And you can support me for my donations for the charity, of course. Great charity. Great charity. I have to go have a moustache for November. Very funny. Anyway, enough about that. So today we're going to go from this look here to this look here. So this video is all about balancing your image and adding in selective saturation. So it's really important to know how to balance your image and it will help you a lot in the future. So let's get into it. So as you can see, our image is very green and very yellow. So what we want to do first, we're going to do a overall balance, of course. Let's bring up our scopes. Let's have a look. So as you can see, our whites are way off. We want to be targeting these areas here. This area here is actually the window, it's overexposed, so no point trying to balance that because those colors don't exist anymore. So instead of using the gain and the gamma and the lift, well, you wouldn't use the lift for the whites, but anyway, we're going to go to number two and we're going to do an overall balance of the entire image. So let's get this as even as possible. Over there, there looks pretty good. Now let's do is our gain. Be more selective area. That looks pretty good. Look a little green still. So let's add just a tiny bit of magenta in. So of course you can use the scopes to check your balance, but let's use that qualifier here. So right click, go pick RGB values. And let's find the widest area in the image without it being over 255. So our balance looks really good. Maybe a little too blue. We'll keep that for now. Let's look at our blacks. Blacks look good. I think our mids are a little bit off. A little bit more blue in. Looks pretty good. Now let's bring those blacks down a little bit. And bring those whites down a little bit. Okay. Now we've got a little bit of nice contrast in our image. Let's use this frame because it's very dramatic. And let's look at the black. So again, this will be fine, the darkest area. And don't go below six because then you are clipping the blacks, so to speak. That looks pretty good. As you can see, we are a little bit red in the mid-tone. So kind of our gamma. Put in a little bit of, just a little bit of blue, not too much. Ooh. Pretty close. Again, just add lightest bit in there. Don't go too crazy. Oh, alrighty. Let's add some saturation in. Find a better frame. Looks pretty good. Now let's add a little bit of contrast. Now we just want to add it in the luminance. So let's take off RGB by clicking this little doodlacky here and add the simplest of curves. That looks pretty good. We've got a little bit of nice light hitting the face here. Or a little bit dark, so let's bring it up just a little bit. Okay. Let's make that screen big. Alt F. Let's add a little bit more saturation in, and then we'll move on to the next node. Cool. So let's make a new node. Alt S. Alrighty. So in this node here, we will add more saturation in. As you can see. Oh, that's way too much. For argument's sake, let's say we're doing this much saturation. So the problem is, is that his face is quite red and we don't want that. We just want to add saturation in here and here and then here. So let's reset that and let's go down our curves. Let's go to the third dot and let's make our selection. So we want blue and we want green and we want this one. So let's take these ones off. And as you can see, this area here is this area here. And if you want to add a little dot, just click it on the line here. Left click it on the line, of course. Now let's bring that up. And I'll go too much. Now I think we are actually a little bit too red. But what we're going to do now is we're going to desaturate some of those reds. Let's find a red area you don't like. Which is this area here. Bring it down just a little bit. Maybe too much. It looks like he's about to die. Okay, now we're going to add some move in. Let's bring that up. Okay, so this is before and then this is after. And as you can see, 
we really saturated this a lot more and this a lot more and we've left those skin tones as is because we're going for that kind of prison look I guess you would say <laughs> oh boy oh boy what an actor I should probably stop laughing on myself um anyway so that's a great way to avoid adding in saturation areas that you don't want to add in so again we've gone from this image here to this image here we have a nice balanced image skin tones look nice and natural we have nice saturation in our clothes everything's look pretty good and of course if you want to make this image even more interesting make a new node alt s and then let's make this really dramatic to really suit this guy's face get your pen tool out we'll do like a light shining in with the light from the outside world shining into his jail cell. Alrighty, let's soften it right out. Make it even smaller, actually. And soft, soft, soft. And invert it. Oh, actually, no, don't invert it. Let's bring up some light on his face first. So before and afterwards, looks pretty good. There's a nice little bit of light here. It looks quite nice. I like that. And as you can see, we've got nice light hitting his eye and his temple and around here. That looks pretty good. Let's make an outside node, Alt-O. And this node, let's darken the overall image. And then even soften it out a little bit so come to this little dot and triangle thing which i have no idea what it's supposed to be but that's fine just bring it up a little bit and that will blur it out just a tad so we're going from this here to this here so it's obviously there's a vignette on it but that's okay not what this video is about Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's more color grading videos on my channel. Some really good ones there. I had to get it with some really great stylized looks with the Black Magic Pocket. I'm finally out of lockdown at the moment, so I can go out and film some more. So hopefully I can get some more interesting footage than a man in the jail. Can I fix this up? You know what? We should fix this blue up here. So let's make another node, Alt S. And let's see if we can fix this up. Put a power window around it. See what's going on. It's quite distracting, isn't it? So let's qualify it. Bring it right up. And then let's clean it right out. And blur it right out. Blow it right out, I think. Take all that saturation down. Big screen, control F. So before and afterwards. Aha, looks a lot better. A bit obvious that it's blown out, but that's fine. The way I shot it, poorly, obviously. It's always important to make sure to pick up these little details. Things like this are very obvious. And since our image is very neutral, any color, especially bright color, will be the first thing someone looks at could pick up by me and I'm sure you picked it up before me. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you like this kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Very depressing looking man. I'm actually not that depressed in real life. Just acting. I know it's really good, but that's just who I am. Alrighty. So anyway, again, I've been Drew from Gingo Productions. Hope you have a great day and stay safe.